you know right guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to see if exhaust wrap can do a similar job to an exhaust muffler so a bit of background on what we're doing and why we're doing it it's going to be on the uh, octavia 1.8 big turbo project it originally had a 70 millimeter exhaust but it only had a very small silencer at the back so now we put a 76 millimeter turbo back exhaust on it with a huge rear silencer if we can just get in there give you a look of it this is massive this is a uh, 55 centimeters i think and it's done exactly what i wanted to do it is very quiet now with that exhaust the only issue is that the it's using an absorption type mufflers i.e those uh, mufflers that you see with the tube going through it with the perforations and then it's wrapped in whatever it's wrapped in fiberglass or whatever so those are great down to about 200 hertz but below that the, the 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 sound suppression below 200 hertz is not great so to cure that i've put a helmholtz resonator on it if you want to read the whole story about the helmholtz resonator i've done an article the link is in the video description to that long story short on the helmholtz it did a job it made everything a bit quieter uh, 200 it hasn't eliminated it but it's made everything noticeably quieter below uh, 200 Hertz uh, but the issue I've got now and this is the reason we're doing the the exhaust wrap exhaust muffler if you like is because there's a drone in the car like above sort of three and a half thousand three thousand three and a half thousand four thousand and up it's like a resonance in the car so I want to see if we can put um, exhaust wrap around the rear muffler and see if we can get rid of that resonance it doesn't actually it's hard to explain the sound it's not exactly a droning exhaust it's like a like a resonance in the cabin and i'm thinking that the casing of that big muffler maybe it's vibrating it's hit the resonance frequency and this is causing the resonance to go through the whole car it's like a it's like a really all-encompassing sound I mean you can't really tell where it's coming from so without doing anything drastic to the exhaust I thought I'd just put a wrap it in exhaust wrap the muffler in exhaust wrap and we'll see what effect that is so the next step is to get in the car I'll take uh, sound readings you're gonna come with me we'll take decibel readings in that zone where this resonance is occurring and we'll also do the spectroid app and we'll see where the frequency is where this drone is occurring and it'll also give us an indication of the volume as well so that will be the before after that we'll go and wrap the exhaust and then we'll go out and do the same test again with the spectroid and the db meter and we'll see if there's any reduction in the resonance volume the that, that we're getting at the moment and also if the frequency window where it's the loudest frequencies has changed at all so that's where we are let's get in the car and let's take some uh, baseline readings Okay guys, this is day two. I wrapped the exhaust last night. If you want to see how to wrap an exhaust, I'll put a link in the video description. I spare you the agony of doing it. I've been just coming up here to the uh, motorway just so we can do our tests again. And like first impressions with it on, I'd say maybe there's a slight difference, but it's definitely not night and day. So ultimately, I think we need to measure it and see if there's anything actual, if there's an actual difference or if, I'm, or if I am imagining it. So that's what we're going to do now. Gas. 
So that's the test drive done with the with the muffler wrapped. Honestly, a bit disappointed to be fair. I think the difference is so small as to make no difference, if you know what I mean. Uh, or the decibel meter, maybe, maybe there's a half a decibel, maybe a decibel difference. Maybe it wants to be at 79, 80, more than it wanted to be at 80, 81 before. But like I said, inside the car, basically that drone is still there. Perhaps it's taken a little bit of edge off it, but yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth the effort. I put it on now, so I'm gonna leave it because I think there is maybe a tiny bit of benefit. But if you're thinking about doing it, if you're looking at killing drone, I don't think exhaust wrap around the muffler is going to make that much difference, quite frankly. I think realistically, a Helmholtz resonator, a properly sized one, is probably the, the way to go. It's made a difference on this car, and I'll do another video on that, which will be the next video upload on the Helmholtz, what I did to get it where it is now. So that's it for the exhaust wrap as a drone killer. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you found this video interesting basically the whole channel is videos like this look after yourself and i'll see you again next time